Hello Beauty News family! Welcome to this week's episode of The Makeup Breakup. This is a series where we destroy makeup for fun and sometimes to learn something. We upload new videos every Wednesday so if you want to see more don't forget to smash that subscribe button before we smash some makeup. Alrighty, so today we have a Smashbox B Legendary Triple Tone Lipstick. Uh, these are the like triple tone lipsticks. Uh, we just basically want to destroy this. We're going to do a way test as well. The colors on this one are pink, purple, and orange. We want to destroy it. See um, what color it creates because if you do mix it all together, if you're wearing it on your lips and you're like pursing your lips together, It'll mix. It's, it's eventually going to get like all mixed in. This product was so kindly provided by one of our moderators on um, our groups, Jo. Thank you girl. We're going to get our colour mixing on. Shout out to Jo. This is dedication to our girl. <laughs> that's that's gonna have to stay in. <laughs> it was out of focus, but you could see your face. It was so funny. Okay. Here's Kat. She's going to demo for us. Because we've been curious about these. They yes. look so weird. Yes, we have been curious. So for anyone wondering, go right ahead, girl. You can do I do it that way and then upside down it? I think so. I don't even know. Maybe, no, don't. Don't, because just do it. Do it the way you would apply a lipstick naturally, okay. because that feeling is naturally. For anyone... <gasps> it's just pink! Maybe my right. lips aren't big enough to get the I, orange. That's exactly what I was just thinking. I have concluded that uh, you have to have large lips to get the orange. This is in the shade Sunset Ombre. Oh. Okay, you really have to build it up to try to get some of the colours to show. It looks like you really badly lined your lips, and it looks like you have a little orange butthole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, God. Uh-uh. Oh, that's... <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you can do better. <laughs> shit. This is... Oh. It's a thing. It's, it's definitely a thing. All right, so that's it closer up. It <laughs> it's confusing. What's the point of it? It's um... It's a little bit sunset lips. It is a little bit. It's got the purple yep. on the top and then the orange on the bottom. I'll give him that. I agree with sunset ombre. But it just looks pink. But it... Confused it, pink. It looks like... Thanks Smashbox. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not... Not too sure about that. <laughs> I'm so glad we're destroying it then. There was part of me that's like, we can't destroy it until we use it. Yeah. And now I'm happy. <laughs> Okay. Done. My guys. It's quite like it works better swatched. It does. But, I mean, it's so, the lines are so crisp. And it doesn't, like, you have to sort of blur them. Blend it. And then it's like, why did I even bother? Let's get this out. Oh, satisfying. Oh, it is pretty satisfying. It is. Shall we? Do we want to weigh like yeah, a usable weigh, amount? Yeah. Two point three eight grams in the usable portion of the lipstick. Now, since this is meant to be an ombre lipstick, we're just going to go right on ahead and assume that you're not going to dig the shit out of this mm, one. Good point. So, um, it did claimed to contain 3.6 grams, so you're getting 2.38 grams of usable product. Um, Which is a third deficit. There's a lot of product in the base. There is. A lot indeed. I wasn't, I was thinking no way there's going to be 3.6 grams, but I believe that that's nearly a gram of product. Mm. 3.58 grams. Is there 0.2 of a gram in zero there? 0.02, probably. 0.02, yeah, there, there actually really could be. Um, so I reckon you're getting 
spot on what they claim. No room for error there. <laughs> no Smashbox. room for error. Um, anyway, let's mush. I think I think the best part about this video is going to be destroying it, and also the current shot that you're looking at now. It looks cool. <laughs> it's a flat lay. It is. <laughs> Holding my breath. <laughs> so <was> I. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a lot firmer than I expected. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Nice. That is pretty nice. Too late. <laughs> Whoops a mush. Whoops a mush. Alright, well there we go. Three colours. Can confirm. Can confirm. <laughs> Can count. <laughs> now I want to see what colour it makes. Just gonna assume like a coral. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe like a deep. Nude. Green. <laughs> Pink. Beige. <laughs> Definitely aubergine. Ducko. <laughs> yes. You know what? I'm just going to put this out there. I think I prefer this colour over all of the it's others. It's a nice colour. It is a nice colour. It's a colour that you actually don't see too often. It's exactly. It's almost like a dark blush or dark yeah. rose. It's not very pigmented, is it? Like, no. It's very... I think Ugh. the formula of it is because it's that sort of like weird, dry, silicony, moussey. Yeah. It's a nice colour. It is nice. All right, so we're going to be scraping this into one of these little tubs that we were sent from Meg. So thanks, Meg, for that. Um, this means that we can apply the lipstick with like a lip brush yep. and use it again. We do have the ability to put reform. this in a, and reform it and put it in a mold, but one lipstick's not enough to create a full lipstick. Yeah, you often need two. So we're going to put them in little tubs. What did we learn? Um, not too much. This no. is the colour of the three mushed yeah. together. It's a pretty um, colour. We can confirm. It is pretty much the colour of the pink. It is. Yeah. <laughs> it... That's a bit weird. Yeah. They coloured correct themselves and make the pink. Um, yeah. And it didn't really... If it contained the amount that it claimed, it was just on the mark. Yeah. They don't give you any extra. No. Nah. So it's a bit cheeky. And if it you is. actually wanted to use all of this, in the ombre format, you're only getting two thirds of what the packaging states. Yes. So, good luck to you, Smashbox. All right, guys, that's it for us today. A massive thank you to Joe for sending us this product and Meg for sending us the little containers. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.